This is the new Ursa belt and it's designed for Ursa pouches and it's a strong stretchy one size fits all strap. And I just want to show you some of the Ursa pouches here. So we've got the all four sizes here. And basically what you can do is you put an Ursa pouch onto one of the belts. This is a medium sized pouch which has got a Zaxcom inside. So I'm going to rig it on myself here. Take the strap around and do it up. So basically the cool thing with this is that it's a nice thin strap, it's very comfy to wear and you can move the transmitter wherever you want on the strap without moving the strap itself. So say like the side can be quite a useful position, so if I want to put it there. But what you can do is once you've rigged it here, if you want to keep it locked in position, you can use these little Velcro pouch protectors which will come with the belts. And to basically lock it in place, you just Velcro along like that and that will lock it in all these three points so it won't move on the strap. And also if someone sort of bends their body like this, it won't flip the pouch around on the strap either, so it's staying like there. But also for like live performances and theatre where quite often you need to have two transmitters on one belt, these can be really useful. So I'll show you with a small pouch here, where this has got electrosonics inside, electro SMB. So if I just take the strap, open it up here, now I'm going to rig this sideways, so it's just pointing that way. So there's a little loop on the, on the pouch which lets me rig it sideways as well as vertically. Push it through like that. I'll create back up. And now like, okay, so one here, one there, that's quite comfy. And it also keeps the aerials apart. So if you do need to move the transmitters around on the belt and keep them a certain distance, then this can be really useful. But also if you wanted to lock this down, you could put another pouch protector like that, or you can just kind of undo a bit of that Velcro, push it in, and then the Velcro itself will hold the strap and the pouch, keep them both in place. But also if you want to just use a clip, you can do that with these straps as well. So quite a lot of transmitters come with decent sized clips. This Wizzycom here has got a great clip. So what you can do is you just sort of clip directly onto the strap and there. And that's really solidly there. That's not actually moving very much at all. And you can also kind of get quick access to the pouch, uh, to the menus on the transmitter as well from it being there. So we recommend if you just want to keep clips on pouches and just want to quickly put things on people, this could be quite a good solution. Um, also the belt's got other uses as well. We found they're quite useful for aqua packs. So this aqua pack here, we've used one of our belts with it, and this can go around the waist. And that's actually a really comfy way of putting an aqua pack on someone as an alternative to the nylon straps that they come with. But really the main thing with these straps is they come in a very long length, designed for a very large waist. But if you're working with children or women who've got very small waists, what you can do is you can cut the straps down with any regular pair of scissors. You can just cut them down to a much shorter length. So this one's been cut right down, and say someone's got a waist of this size, you know, just cut it down, and now, now this strap is designed for that person, and it means that if uh, you won't end up with a very long excess kind of hanging down. So, so that's how we're saying that they're one size fits all. So we hope that's found a useful little addition to the collection of Ursa products, and please let us know your thoughts. Thank you.